Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. It's been beautiful here. Um, I've been super busy this afternoon, this evening, but finally I'm getting time to do a video or two. Um, I thought I'd show you a little project I did. It didn't take but a couple minutes. Um, I actually received this sterling silver bracelet a little while back. Um, it's very, very pretty. It's, it's got like C's. My daughter's like, is that Chanel? I said, no. Um, it's got the little CZs there. But it was about an inch and a half. It was just too short. It was too long. I'm sorry. So this little piece right here, I was thinking that I could open it. I thought it was um, like the piece was um, clipped on there on both sides. And I could get the little part of the jewelry um, tool I have in there and open it up. Well, I found out that it wasn't open. It actually was soldered shut here on both sides, here and here. So I got out my little small jewelry metal cutters and I cut that extra link, two links off. There was actually two links that it needed to come off. I got a sterling jump ring and added it here. That spot actually would have had one of these and it would have been longer. And um, it already, of course, had this sterling clasp. So I made that to where I could wear it. And then with the piece that I took off, this was this made a beautiful bell. This is actually the piece that would have been hooked into the lobster. So that's the bale that, you know. And then this is the piece that I cut off. I cut that off right there. And I took a um, file and filed it down so it's soft and won't poke me. So now I have a bracelet and a pendant. Isn't that pretty? I put it on one of my snake, sterling snake chains that I have. I have a couple of them. But I thought that was interesting. So there is things people can do without paying. I probably would have paid 60 bucks maybe, maybe more, to get this done at a jeweler's. So I guess where there's a will, there's a way. So now I have a new pendant necklace. And a new bracelet that actually fits. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys some more costume vintage all the way up through very new. Um, I have a big pile over here. I'll show you. And we will just go ahead and get, I think we can get through all of this. So... I would just, like I did the last couple videos. Oh, by the way, everybody that gets a bundle shipped has been invoiced. There's a couple people who only have a couple pieces, so we will bundle some more into June. There are two people that have um, some things, but we're doing a, um, we're going to keep those going for a little bit. So yeah, I spent a lot of time today going through things and um, going through all my files and getting everybody um, sent an email and everybody sent an uh, invoice that's going to get one for May. Okay? Okay, I'm just going to grab something out of here. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not going to start with those. I kind of started with a necklace the other night. The last video was, uh, oh, this is pretty. It was like a wooden animal necklace. So I don't want you guys to think that's all I've got. 
Okay, this to me, when I saw it, I thought it was a Lucky Brand, but it's not. This is kind of, well, it's a charm necklace, but it's, um, it's just darling. You've got a little bit of um, whimsical. You've got that little piece there that's just like a little, um, almost a finial if you know what that is. Um, this is a just a little doodad with a cat's eye. I'm trying to make sure they're all going the right way. There we go. So, we have here just a pretty little design with a cat's eye. You have a leaf. Then you have, and these are like, kind of like a plastic, a faceted plastic. Then you have this little piece here, and are those cat's eye? Yes, those are. So you've got a little dangle here, a little cat's eye orange pieces, and a finial, kind of a clear faceted bead here. Then you have the flower with the orange, a leaf. Then you have this cute little, it looks like a little tulip. And then you have the high-heeled shoe here, just darling. And then you have a coin, and then you have another little finial. And I'll get up close and personal for you guys. I just thought it was really, really sweet. Look at that. Let's see if you can see the shoe. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, and then you have the little beads. They're kind of clear going up. Kind of a rosary style necklace type. Kind of a gun metal. A bronzy gun metal. Very, very cute. The necklace itself is 16 with about an inch extender. And I think I'm going to put four on this just because it's so stinky. It's just cute. Very, very cute. Yes, I had a good... We went shopping yesterday. We went out of town to this store, and it was crazy. I got a Nicole Miller bathing suit, which bathing suits are hard for me to find. A Nicole Miller, it was black, for $12.99. The original MSRP, whatever it's called, price on it was $118. <laughs> But it just went on and on. It was just the most, it just had beautiful clothing. And it's called Roses, R-O-S-E-S. -E we don't have them here in my town. But we saw that, we were like, I wonder what kind of store. I thought maybe it was like Ollie's or something like that. But my gosh, we never even got through but half of the store because we were so hungry. We were in there for like three hours. Just dealing with clothes. It was so much fun. Okay, we have a Charlotte Russe. It's a set. This one has a price tag for just one of them at $9.50. These are beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll do them separate, but I'm just showing you both of them because this one doesn't have the tag. Um, it says $9.50. And we'll do three dollars a piece on these, or two for two for five. We'll do two for five, or three dollars a piece. Okay. Alrighty. Moving right along. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, it had a surprise. In, oh, it had a baby. No, it had a surprise inside. Um, this is beautiful. This pink is just fabulous. It's like a Kind of a frosted pale pink here, and then you have the um, stations, more or less. Horizontal, vertical. Yeah, the, this is real pretty. I'm not sure if it's got a maker mark or not. It's a nice size. It probably would fit about a seven, seven and a half really well. It's really fits me pretty well. And it's more of a round piece. It's not really oblong. It's like a circle. So this one is circular. It is 
almost two and a quarter, or it's two and a quarter. And from the whole, th yeah, two and a quarter. And let me measure these real quick for you guys. These are a nice, nice, nice size, two and a half. So, this is the baby that the necklace had. This is cute. It's got rondelles. It's got the all-knowing eye, which is so popular, and I just think it's cute. So we'll put, let's see, let's put three on that. I like that. And it's really substantial. Nice glass beads. Not plastic. These are glass. Very nice. Let me grab something else. Let's grab something else. Okay. Here's some nice kind of light weight gold tone hoops. They are small and they are perfect for work, business, casual, church, anything. I don't see a mark. The inside is nice. The inside looks like it should be it should have a maker mark. Now, see, when I put my loop away, I still can't find it. I don't see any mark on this one. Hold on. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. These are nice. Nope, I don't see a mark, guys. So we'll put two on these. These are nice. I'll show you the back. Okay. Two on those. Let's do a ring. We've got a watch ring. I wish it was running. It's so cute. It just says quartz. This thing is like brand new. It's still got the plastic on the back. This is made in China. It's fancy. Now, this would be really easy to change out and put a battery in. Let me turn it so you guys can see it. And it's a stretch. It's a stretchy band. It's so cute. And put it on. What time is it? Well, it is. Yeah, that's cute. So let me give you a measurement in case somebody might like this. Not stretched at all. It's about a seven, and then to stretch it, it's going to be about an eight to eight and a quarter. And then when you start stretching it more, it's going to pinch. So this is between probably a seven and an eight, and my ring finger is a six and a half, and it fits the ring finger. It's a zip. So anywhere between a six and about a seven and three quarters would be very comfortable. Okay. Let's see, what should we do next? Um, oh, here's a nice bangle. Black and gold tone. Very nice. Let's see if I see a maker mark. I do not. This is pretty. It's got like the little knobby with the arrow. It is bigger. It's nice. Um, it is actually, let's see, the inside measurement is almost two and three fours. It's two and a half plus, let's see, yeah, a little over two and a half. So. It's not bad. It really doesn't have any wear to speak of. So, $2 on that one. Mm. Okay, we have what I do believe is a Jasper. It's ice cold. It is very pretty. Maybe even a... You know, I don't know. This bothers me. Because this could be a moss agate. But... To me, it looks like a jasper. It's got a little bit of an orange. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell. It's got a lot of spotting. You know, it's a little speckles. Almost like a little speckled egg. It is on a, what I would say is kind of a brass 
copper brass setting. It is not sterling. And it's pretty. It is almost like a moss green agate. But I do believe it's a jasper. It's very hard. You know what I mean? It's not see-through at all. Um, you know, I don't think you can see the light through that. Um, the measurement on this one is, let's see, right at an eight. And we'll put four dollars on that. That's nice. Okay. Oh, that's precious. This, the beads on this one have um, started to peel, but the picture is just so, it's just nice. Um, if anybody's interested in that, please let me know, because I'll just put it in your bundle. But it's just so sweet. It could be taken off of here so easy and put, put, put it on something else. I mean, you know, it's just lovely. It could be a pendant for a necklace, even. But, um, yeah, if somebody wants that, please let me know. No problem. These are kind of like the opalite beads. But these are like a plastic. But you know what? They're pretty. Look at that one. Some of them have a little bit of fire to them. I wonder how they do that with the plastic acrylic. That's cute. Almost like those mermaid beads, but I think that they are actually glass. But this is a beautiful turquoise. And so, kind of specialty beads. They'd be nice for maybe putting on something else, lightweight. So we'll put $2 on that. So there you go. Okay. All right, let's go to a necklace. I think this actually has a bracelet, too. Let me check. Do you believe? Yes, it does. This is so pretty. You guys, this is lovely. This is bone. This is not ivory. I just see the pitting and the... I don't see any hatching, cross-hatching. Or anything but these are pretty okay so you've got a seed bead and bone with beautiful designs this is the back of the bracelet it's lovely these are just so well made very soft cool to the touch you've got these beads here that are so neat Someone did an excellent job on this. You have the um, barrel clasp. This is a stretchy. It's got good stretch. So since this is a probably a very nice vintage set, um, I'll show you the side here. It's very neat. Let's put six on this. I like this. Very safari-like. Very very beautiful. Oh, this is pretty too. Now, here's something almost the same. It just does not have the designing parts. And I think this... I don't know if that had a necklace or not. Let me pour this out. Hold on. I thought it did, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe so. Hmm. Aww. I've got some beautiful beads here. Oh my goodness. I wonder where they came from. And this little pendant. Oh, look. Little bone circle. Ooh. I think that's wood. Well, I'll have to put these up. I don't know. They must come in the bag with, um, yeah. 
with these um stop saying um with these African looking safari beads. Well I wonder. I don't think these go with this. This has got too much aging on it. But these are neat. I think I'll put these over to the side, guys. Um, yeah, I like that one especially. See it? Oh, those are so cool. Let me put them in my little thing. So if I get, get bored and want to make a necklace or whatever, I've got all kind of stuff to do it with. Okay, I don't see, oh, I don't think these match. Oh, these are so pretty. I've got another earring for uh, another, what do you call it, hook for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it as far as, I don't see any necklace. Well, okay. I'm just pulling out all kind of stuff. Okay. These are pretty too. I'll get these earrings out next. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I got these here. Oh my gosh, these are cool. Those. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Wow. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact. Ooh. I just grab all this stuff and set it out for you guys to see real quick. Since we're on these. Wow. There's that. There's this. Okay. So, we have... Ooh, guess what? I found something I'm going to keep. Ta -da. Look at that. Looks like that butterscotch agate that I love. Look at this. You guys see that? Mm, love it. I love these beads. I had a bunch of these beads back when I was a little little lines in them. Look at this bead. Look at this bead. Ah, look at that one. I'm in love. I'm set that over there. Okay, so what we've got is a Shambhala type. Um, and this one has a seashell. That's walking, so that means its little thing is still in it. This beautiful knot, like a woven knot there, and then two fish, and it is sizable. And I think I'll put that with this. This is beautiful. These are nice. Same design, just doesn't have the black. The dark brown or black um, S curve. So we'll make this a set. And we'll put eight on this one. It's just a little fancier. We have bone earrings here. Look at these. I'll show you these up close. Okay, these will go for three. Because they're interesting. This one has almost like what I think might be snake skin. I mean, real snake skin. With this little nut down here, it looks like a little, some type of a nut. There we go. Isn't that neat? So there's that pair. And we'll put, let's put three on these. These are interesting. Next are these, I don't know. These are actually bone. Don't show the edge. And wood. That's 
someone has painted. These are really neat. These don't have any maker mark. I'll show you the backs. This is very interesting. So I'm going to put five on these very interesting earrings. Just so cool. And I'm sure these are vintage. These are nice. So I'll put five on those. I have backs for these. French hooks. These are definitely bone. I haven't checked these, but I don't think I see any hatching. No, I just see the striations of the in the little pits. But these are really pretty. So I will fix these and I'll put three on the no, let's put four on these. These are intricate. And polished. So I'll put four on these. The backs are nice too. And then these are just, these are mother of pearl and then kind of wood and bone and a really, these are inter, intricate beads. Let me show them to you. Let's see if I can get that turned. There we go. There's that bead and that bead. So I'm going to put, these are neat. I'm going to put six on these. And then the other one's just, just like it. It's in great shape. These are in good condition. And these are different. I'm not sure if this is a lava stone. It's almost what it feels like. But it's bone and this little metal fish. I'll show you one here. That stone, it just feels really light. And I don't know if it could be a nut. No, it looks like a lava stone. I'll show you the other one. We'll put four on these. These are neat. There we go. I don't believe that's sterling. I'll check it with the magnet. Nope, it sticks to the magnet. <laughs> oh gosh, everything's sticking to it. Okay. All right, let's see. Where should we go next? Okay. Oh, I found me some more beads. Down a big pile of beads. Hmm. Off in there, buddy. We have a tangle. A little bit of a tangle. Oh, come on. Yeah, we've been rather chilly here, and um, I've been outside and all kinds of stuff, and I just, I can feel, you know how you get a summer cold? Yeah, that's how I feel. Hate it. I want it to be nice. Okay. Yay! Now, this is interesting. These are wooden beads, they're very lightweight, but this is like um, bone, and then it's got a little man on it. Very cool. This could be taken off and put, not, put on a chain. This has, let's see here, what is this? It's just the hook clasp with the figure eight clasp here. Attachment. Let's see. There we go. That's how it was caught on everything. But this is really neat. So I'm gonna put five on that one. Just for the just for this alone. Okay, there's my pack. Look, I got more beads, guys. 
These are so pretty. Look at the, look at, oh my gosh, look at that bead. Oh my goodness. And that orange and yellow, or red and yellow. Then we've got a big, almost like a marble. Wow. Oh, I'm going to love stringing these. These are going to be so much fun. Yeah, these are beautiful. Okay. Put them in my doves. Okay, next we have... Oh, this is pretty. Next we have... A little triple flower. And I mean, it's just a little... Inconspicuous little piece. And I'll put $2 on that. But it's also cute. It is. Well, it's about 17 and a half. So that's cute. Yeah, let's just do two. Let's do two on that one. Those are some more beads I can use. Okay. Let's do another necklace. Oh, this is pretty. I can use this for something. That might. Okay. I think it's an uh, earring. Maybe we'll find the other one. Okay, this is cute. I think I've already shown this one. Got it backwards. There we go. It is a chaps necklace, and it's very pretty. Yeah, I think this is the necklace I showed not too long ago. So let's put, since it is marked, let's put four on it, and I think it's very pretty. Very southwestern. You can see through it. So whatever you put it up against, it will be that color showing through the background. That'll be nice. Like you can see the white coming through really well on these. And that. Okay, so let's put let's put four. Let's put four on the chaps necklace, okay? Okay, we have some clip earrings that are so cute. They need to be switched out into pierced. They're just too cute. They're little black starfish. Okay. We'll go ahead and close that. There is no make a mark. And it's just got like little rhinestone type um, of the old fashioned, um, like the plastic beaded shiny beads. I don't believe these are glass, but aren't those pretty? They really shine on your ears too. So let's put $3 on these. This is pretty. This is very nice. This is ceramic. Made to look like stone all the way up. I think these are metal that have been just kind of painted to look like stone. Kind of a little speckle paint. Um... This needs a clasp on it, and I did not know that. But I can definitely put one on. So if anybody would like this, it's really pretty. It needs a clasp here, and of course you know I have clasps. I will put one on, and it's got an extender also of about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Okay, it's lightweight, it is not heavy, it's, it'll be pretty for the summer, and it is approximately 16 inches, and I will get it fixed if anyone wants it, and I'm going to put $4 on it. That's cool. I did, I really didn't notice it was broken though. Okay. Oh, I think we've seen these. 
Um, I'm going to group together some things. These are cool. These are Shambhala. And the end of the Shambhala has a cross. Let me make sure these work. Hold on here. Oh, yeah. They're, they're knotted. So they won't come loose. They're knotted right there. So they should be fine. All you do is just take the knot out. Yeah, these are brand new then. What you do, there's a knot there and you just undo the knot and then you can do them any way you want. So these two are nice. Whoever made these did an excellent job. This is a woven cross down here on both sides, you know, on both bracelets. So we'll put four on those two. Those are neat. Okay, I have a bunch of these. They have different sayings. Some of them say, you are loved, you are valued, you are beautiful. This one says, I am the master of my fate and the captain of my soul. Life is what you make of it. These are pretty cool, really. Um, what's this one? You are... You were given this life because you are strong enough to live it. I, I believe that and agree. It's got a bubble there. You are amazing. You can do anything. You rock. These are really cute. Okay, I got some more beads to show you guys. Look at that. Ah. Uh, goes into my bee stash. This says one is not born a woman. One becomes one. Huh. Okay. That is really neat. So I've got some really neat beads. So I'll put all these in my doves. Oh, that is so cool. Oh. We have the little die... Um, Diamond International um, cruise bracelet with the snorkel and it has what else? A fish it has a snorkel it has a, oh, look at this the umbrella and it has two snorkels an umbrella and the DI for die, for Diamond International isn't that funny? And then it's got supposedly a little diamond encrusted in there. Funny. But yes, this might have been a thing of the past. If it hadn't been for the COVID vaccines, this might have been worth some money, guys. But anyway, we'll put $2 on that. I think people collect those. I'm not sure. But I think they do. Here's some more of the little hoops. These are cute. These are gold with the silver tone braided like a um, chain or whatever you want to call it in the center. Gold tone. Those are $2. These are in great shape. Wonderful shape. I don't see them up. Those are cute. Okay, let me grab something out of here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this is pretty. This has a barrel that is actually made out of uh, probably a resin. And this is so pretty. This has like flecks of like iridescence throughout this necklace. This is definitely vintage. I'll try to see if I can get it to do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what it is. Ouch. I think that's pretty. Yeah. This is nice and long. It's lightweight for the summer. It's really pretty. It's kind of a purple. And white lavenderish sparkly thing. It is approximately let's see, 
see. About 28 inches. And it is really nice. So I'm up at seven on that. That's nice. Very vintage, very nice. Um, we've got another cool necklace. Look at this. This is beautiful. You've got some brass, bone. Um, I don't know what that black is, but it looks natural. These have really pretty designs on them. I'll just try to show it to you here. Um, got the hearts and the triangles. Some different colors here. Um, and you have the hook clasp here. This is really neat. Kind of a rosary style up here at the top. It is approximately a little over 16 inches to here. So these are going to drop about 22, 24. This is interesting. It's, um, It's kind of graduated, but they are not, you know, identical on both sides. Very interesting. So I'm going to put seven on this just because it's so cool. Come back here. It is just too cool. I didn't know I had that much um, of the wooden things, you know, the necklaces and stuff. I had no idea. It says a tag on it, and it says nothing. Hang on, what's it say? It says... David Aubrey. And his stuff goes for... A good amount. I'm going to look him up real quick, guys. Okay, these right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I find any more, I'll stick to his one. There's seven. They, they're they nice, but they have like a little bit of bubbling on the inside. I don't know what that's about because this side looks cool. Looks really good. You know what I mean? Nice and clean and well made. So I don't know why they're like that. But anyway, there are a total of seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a total of eight of them. And I'll do five dollars for these eight. Anything else you could use the um, the findings on these or something? But I don't think there's much wrong with them. These cords are new; they feel good. Okay, so next we have what was I getting ready to do? Okay, let me put a couple of these together. There's one. Um, I'm gonna look up that David Aubrey in a minute. Okay, this is going to be good for pieces. This is bone. So I don't know how small this would be if I redid it with stretch. It might need other things put into it. Because I can't imagine this fitting anyone. It's going to be so small. But I'm going to work on this one. See what I can do. It's pretty but it is definitely tore up. Not looking too great. Okay. I think I've had a, a couple of David Aubrey pieces. I don't remember if they're super fancy or... Okay. If 
find some more of those. This is cute. Look at that lime green. Oh my gosh. And it's plastic. It looks retro. It looks 60s and 70s. I don't think it is, but um, it looks really, really nice. I'll look this up real quick. Um, David Aubrey. Aubrey necklace. Okay. Well, they're not cheap. Um, most of these are kind of a mixed metal. Check this out. Okay. They're kind of all over the place, guys. Hmm. Yeah, they're just kind of all over. It just depends on what they're made of, I do believe. Yeah. Cool. Okay, just check it, because I pass that information on to you guys, too. So this is just very interesting. Cute for the summertime. I love the color. I've got a couple little tops that this would go great with. So this is right at 18 inches. It's a nice necklace. And that's the back. No scratching, no messed up. This is the... So let's put four on that. Okay, this is just a Rolo chain. Um, it feels pretty good. It's not that real cheap kind that practically cuts your fingers. This is nice. Isn't that pretty? Nice and long. This would be good for a nice dress. Um, Maybe a long dress, a maxi or something that you wear. This is probably about 30 inches, something like that. And then if you doubled it, it would be just like that. But it's not bad. So I put $3 on the Rolo. Um... This I've shown before. This is kind of interesting. It's got a pendant on it that's articulated, but I don't know why. Okay, this has kind of like hematite, hematite type beads. This does have a tag. This has the tag that says CMC. And I have never heard of that. Let's show the tag real quick. Very, very interesting. CMC, I'll show it to you up close, the hematite and the glass. Um, it's attractive. Then you have a little brass hearts, just as cute as they can be. And then we have this, and it actually moves up and down. Like, I, I, I don't know. But anyway, this CMC necklace will go for four. Very pretty. And it's about, I would say, let's see. Yeah, I was going to say about 20. A little under 20 inches. Okay. This is beautiful. This has that kind of a acrylic barrel that matches this color explicitly. I don't know if that's bone or... No, I think that's plastic. I do believe these are bone. And these pieces are just too different looking to not be bone. And then you have the elephants. Just This is just too cool. Yeah, I really like that. I like stuff like this and I always have. And the elephant... It's just gorgeous. 
This is the back. It's definitely bone. You can see the little pits. And I'm gonna put 10 on this one. This is gorgeous, okay? All right, next we have this super long, this is super long, olive green statement necklace. Twist it around here, there we go. I really like it, I think it's very pretty. And it has a really nice extender on it. Hmm, it's caught up here. Right. There we go. I'll show you the extender. It really doesn't have much wear at all. I'll show you the extender. It's on a snake chain. Very nice. Um, it's beautiful. This snake chain is long. It is about 14, 15, 16. It's about 32 inches from the top to this area here. And I'll show it to you up close. And the back is nice. So I'm gonna put five on this just cause it's long and it's beautiful. Okay. Next. We have we have this piece here. <laughs> Half of it's gone. Where did the other part go? I know it's here somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'll look for it. But this thing is neat. But it's got the exact same piece over here. It goes over here. That's so funny. Okay. It's here somewhere. Okay, let me put him down here for a minute. What happened to you, sir? <laughs> Looks like someone ate your arm off. Okay, this one's really pretty. This one does have a tag. And it says... I don't know what it says. It says something. This looks older because it's kind of, hold on guys, this is Viva, Viva Beads, Vivo Beads or Viva, can't see it, I think it's Vivo Beads, but they're pretty, I think it's an older necklace. I like it. It's very interesting. Isn't that pretty? Kind of a sea, sea foam green. Very, very pretty. And this is about 18 inches. Could go to 19. And I'll put $4 on that. <laughs> Excuse me. I got some these. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Oh, boy. We have two clampers here. These are super nice. I could not find a maker mark. But these are so cute. So pretty. They're in great shape. I don't see much wear. These two are very pretty. Um... They're not super big. See how close they fit me. So I'm thinking about a seven. It'd be about seven and a half. It'd be about as high up as far as the width of the wrist could be. Maybe a little bigger. But these are pretty. Yeah. They look expensive and they're not. So I'm put $3 a piece on the orange and the black. Then we have a clamper here, and it's cute. I don't see any marks, but this has that kind of abstract pink and the frosted pink. 
and it's very pretty and it fits me so it fit a lot of people and it's got quite a bit of room and I really like it so we'll put three on the clamper and it's quite a clamper okay we've got some rings here what is that oh it's an earring okay this is the bestie bracelet a little lobster claw there it is it says best with the little half of the heart we'll put two dollars on that let me see here it's got a really pretty this is pretty get this out of the way yeah i like this one this looks vintage it has a vintage clasp I do not see a maker's mark, but it's very pretty. Okay, let's see. Let me get it even there. Let me see how long this is. From here to here, it is about 16 inches, and it could go up probably 17. Very nice filigree. Kind of a little rounded pattern. Just too cute. Almost looks like a design on a wedding cake. So we'll put three on that one. Then we have a Zad, Z-A-D, necklace. They're fun. They're actually a company that distributes jewelry. So they really don't as far as I know, they don't make it. They purchase it, and then they distribute it under their name. Z-A-D. And this one does have, looks like a fuzzy stuff to it. I don't know what that would be. But this is pretty. It's got like little cha-cha um, beads hanging off of it. So I'll put three on that one. And it looks like it is, let's see, about 14 inches, a little a little longer. Kind of a, um, isn't that pretty? That's more a choker type. This is pretty. These are glass, glass beads. Bright green, very nice stretch. Very pretty. Isn't that nice? So let's put three on that. Let's see here. Okay, we've got a toggle clasp with some faux pearls and some faux crystal beads. It's cute. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Whoops, come back, yeah. And I think it should be around, let's see how long this is. This is really pretty, look, isn't that nice? Okay, so this is approximately eight and a half inches. This is a nice long one. It's very pretty. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's really pretty. You know what, that can't be that long because it's not that big on me. Let's try this again. So we'll start halfway in the circle and we'll go, it's about eight. So it's nice. But I think what happens is the beads are, oh, there's something unpolished or something on here. I'll get it off. Um, there's something on the fact that these beads are big and around big around that it's taking up space that's why it's not that much too big for me so let's say maybe a seven and a half would be about the perfect size for this that's really pretty so let's do let's do three on that one i got another stretchy here it's really pretty does have some 
it does have some wear on this, so let's put this into the dollar lot that I have going. There. We have a locket here that definitely opens. There's nothing in it. It's very pretty. Isn't that neat? So I'm going to put $4 on the locket. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And it's, I don't believe it's anything precious. Any precious metal. No. It's very pretty. It would look so pretty on a gold chain. So we'll put, let's put five on that one. Oh. It says Hawaii. So we have a pendant. I don't believe this is sterling. It is so cute though. It says Hawaii. It's a pendant. You put the necklace up and around here or the chain. And it is darling. And I'm going to put $4 on that. So cute. And there's the back. Eh, love it. Let's see if I can find those earrings. We have a large crystal ring here. It's very, very pretty. Look at that. It's like a eternity band. It is a larger size. Yes, it is. It is right at a. It is right at eleven, almost eleven and a half. So let me show it to you. This thing is beautiful. The crystals are beautiful. Everything's there. I'm going to put $6 on this. Very nice. Then we have another. These are my costume rings. This is a size 9.5. It is not anything precious. It is beautiful, though. We have a purple stone. We have three little rhinestones on both sides. Could be CZs. And it's silver. So I'm going to put $7 on this one. I'm just grabbing, guys. I'm just grabbing. This is pretty. I was thinking this was Sarah Coventry, but I'm not sure. i got to check it with the loop. Um, I don't see anything on here. I will show it to you. That is pretty. It's like a bypass, but it's not because it's attached. This is right at a size seven and maybe even seven and a quarter. So we'll do, it's an excellent shape. So let's do $4 on that one. There's no gold, gold tone loss at all okay this one is just cute it's kind of a brass tone it's lost a little bit of hit. gosh you can't even see it i think it's really really cute but i'm gonna put it in the dollar lot and then i'll show you guys this dollar lot here in the next couple days okay next we have a peace sign shambhala that is like the hemp rope. It's really cute. And it kind of gets bigger and smaller. So it can get pretty big. And I'll put, let's see, let's put $3 on the piece. This is plastic, but it's cool. It looks retro. It looks camo. It is a size nine and a quarter, and it is ready to go. It's probably more like a nine because it's just thicker, but that's cool. So we'll go two dollars on the plastic ring. Here's a pretty. Oh, this is pretty. This is not sterling, from what I gather. 
but I think I'm gonna put this over to the side and test it. I just I don't think it is, but I can't tell. I'll show it to you guys and tell you what I'm talking about. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the fire in that moonstone. Okay, let me check it out. Okay, we have a key ring. That's a freebie to anybody that wants an M. All right, we've got about another 15 minutes or so of earrings and bracelets, and we will do that here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we will get back with you here in just a little bit, and thanks for watching. Talk to you in a minute. Bye.